but to save my community, we have to make bunny hopping a federal offense. Bunny hopping must become a federal offense. Those brothers are an embarrassment. Hey, where are the white women at? Women are generally suckers for a good love story, but nothing seems to garner as much interest and intrigue as an interracial love story. And I saw this post go viral on X, formerly known as Twitter, of this couple. They seem to be a pretty popular influencer couple. And I saw this couple go viral on X, formerly known as Twitter, called Brennan and Ashley. And you know what? They're actually quite popular. They have a million followers on TikTok currently. And you know, all of their content is about taking love seriously. So they have a lot of dates that they're posting, little different, um, you know, romantic ideas. This one in particular got a lot of interest because you see him doing the hair of his wife. And it just so happens to be that this is a white man doing the hair of a black black woman, something that's very taboo. Now I know seeing a white man doing a black woman's hair is very taboo, especially considering the cultural context and especially considering today's climate. But my personal thoughts are, look, it's not my job to sit here and judge what somebody else wants to do with their husband. That's between them and their partner. Now, obviously, whenever you put your stuff online and you create TikTok accounts and you create whole social media presence about your own relationship, people are going to talk about it. Now, I personally am not trying to put my most intimate details of my relationship online. That's something that I just do not think is a good idea. But if that's what somebody else wants to do, fine. I also think it's good to just reiterate that a black person, especially who decides to get in a, in a racial relationship, just needs to know that they're going to lose a certain level of clout or a certain level of influence within the black community. Some people don't really care. It's not a big, not a big deal. But if you're a person who believes in wanting to try to improve or build the black community in any capacity, it's going to be hard for you to really have a certain level of support as long as you are dating and marrying out it just it don't matter how much money it doesn't matter what you do it doesn't matter how good you just know that just the very nature of you dating out means that there's going to be certain people in the community who just aren't going to rock with you or are not going to consider you a leader and like i said for some people that's not a big deal you're not over here trying to save the black community you're not over here trying to build a better reality and if that's not you cool but if it is then just understanding that making that decision might make it really hard for you. But outside of that, most black women weren't really tripping like that. Most of them were just happy in the comment section. In fact, you saw many of them who were inspired and had a lot of positive things to say about this entire interaction. I mean, look at some of the tweets. And so all in all, nobody saw anything wrong with this. They all were all thought it was cute. They thought it was romantic. They thought, hey, you see a black woman being treated nice. She's living her best life. They're living their best life. No problem here. But now I want to turn your attention to something else. How do you feel about interracial? White women, if they date a black man, dead wrong. But if a black woman find her a rich white man, right on sister, black power. <laughs> I love interracial couples. That's why I'm here. Hey, what do you think about interracial? relationships it's okay for like a black girl to mess with a white guy but not the same thing for a black guy to mess with a white girl when black girls do it because they genuinely like them and i feel like when black boys do it it's just because they're comparing them to black it's people like when black girls mess with white guys it's because like oh they're like a nice guy this and this but whenever it's a white girl oh i like snow bunny like exactly. it's a fetish they be like i like white girls because black girls can't do this but when black girls like white boys it's genuine that part but i want you to notice how the narrative changes when the gender changes we see how there's overall very positive and affirming sentiments when there's a black woman who decides to date and marry out, especially if it seems like they're having just a loving relationship. But usually the same consideration is not applied when a black man dates out. I want the Supreme Court to reconsider their decision in Loving versus Virginia. I want it to be illegal again for black men to marry Snow Bunny. That there is a double standard when it comes to dating and mating, dating and mating expectations, dating and mating preferences, and also standards. And I think if the understanding is that in the every single time a black man dates out, he hates his mother and he's harming the black community, why isn't the same level of scrutiny being given to black women? 
And if we want to say that that scrutiny shouldn't be given to black women, that a black woman should be able to date and marry out whoever she wants and chooses and whoever's going to love her, granted, I see nothing wrong with that, then why can't that same perspective be given to black men? Because here's the thing, look, I am definitely one who supports black love, believes in black families, and definitely believes in trying to create a better reality for the black community long term. This is partially why I do what I do. But I do think it's important to understand that trying to shame people into loving somebody or trying to shame people into choosing somebody within their race is not going to work. You also have to provide better outcomes. And if you want marriage and relationships to be of value among black people, then marriage and relationships has to be taught to be of value, especially to young women stats out there show that what only one in four black women are married i've talked about this multiple times however that in the in the black american culture marriage is not seen as a huge cultural value many black women are taught how to survive without a man while there are other cultures out there who are taught how to survive and how to thrive with a man completely different perspective so again my point in saying this is just assuming that there is quote unquote a snow bunny crisis or just saying that black men marrying out is harming the black community is not taking the entire situation into consideration what is driving these black men why is there a larger percentage of black women who don't marry period why is it also not looked down upon when there are black women who date out and why is there also no consideration of the amount of black women who have kids by non-black men what is going on in the overall relationship dynamic what is driving who is marriage and family values even a huge cultural dynamic or or is hot girl summer what's truly driving the overall ethos the value systems of today's black american culture these are the kinds of questions that i think really need to be had before you can come to a conclusion as to what is going on but trying to shame people into marrying somebody just because they're black you're trying to shame people to change their ways just because they're within their own race it just isn't going to work i do think cultural value and cultural pride and 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 really truly loving yourself and truly loving who god made you those are things that are taught at home and start very very young and hopefully are things that are fostered and nurtured through your parents and through your larger community but on top of that it's not just about having you know a sense of self-love and appreciation for who god made you to be it's also about understanding that it's important that people ultimately be taught how to actually have healthy marriages how to actually have healthy families so as i mentioned before i obviously have no problem with anybody who decides to date and marry out man or woman but if there is to be a conversation about how interracial dating and mating is impacting the black community i think it's important to include both men and women and outside of that, anybody who's really more focused and wanting to see a higher marriage rate and healthier families come out of the black community, I think the best way to inspire that and the best way to inspire women and men to date and marry within their community is to ensure that the community is healthier. And how do you go about getting a, a healthier community? Well, that's a larger conversation that we will discuss in another video. But anyways, <laughs> what do you think? Do you agree or do you disagree? Let me know. Leave your questions, comments, concerns in the comment section below. Thank you so much for listening if you've gotten this far. And we'll talk later, okay? Bye.